Hello Driving Intelligence Community. Most of my videos are about automotive repair and modification and I include uh, videos about boat modification repair as well as home. Uh, you can see I'm sitting in my wine room, my wine liquor room that I built with two of my best friends. Um, so my focus is to try to do as much uh, as, as I can myself. Uh, last January when I left industry right at the, uh, the, the initial start of the COVID virus, I, uh, I wanted to get out of industry because it was just a little too toxic for me. I wanted to go uh, off in a different direction. And at that point, I had a lot of time on my hands to do whatever I needed to do. And instead of hiring people to fix or repair things, I decided I was going to do everything myself. And since that time, I've been successful. I've, had, I've not had to go to any, uh, anybody else to get anything done to my house, boats, or cars, um, except to get an alignment done on my F-150. And if you've watched all my videos, you'll see that on my 1985 Mustang SVO, I did the alignment myself. So uh, even the alignments that I can do myself. Uh, I guess the point I'm trying to make is that it's, it's possible for anybody to do this. All you got to do is uh, an effective amount of research. Uh, analysis, figure out what's wrong or what you're trying to accomplish, make a plan, do some research on the internet or with books, and you can accomplish a lot on your own. Uh, so in this particular video, I almost got caught with my don't replace it, fix it, uh, where I was going to throw a Roku streaming device away because it wasn't working properly, it seemed like it had a power issue. I'm going to show you in this video what was wrong, and uh, like I said, I almost got caught myself throwing something away that was perfectly good. At the end of this video, I'm featuring my nephew, who is a brilliant 11-year-old who just got uh, um, recognized with honors at his school and is getting a scholarship. Uh, but he, in two days, and this kind of goes back to my point about researching things, he researched on the internet how to solve a Rubik's Cube, and now he's a Rubik's Cube professional. It's unbelievable what he can do after just two days of studying on the internet. So I'm going to show a video of him at the end of this video to feature that, and I'm going to link him below. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my nephew because he definitely deserves it. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Only 15% of you that watch my videos are subscribed, so you can really help me out by subscribing. Give me that thumbs up, and I'll see you next time on Driving Intelligence. So this Roku streaming device on the side of the TV, which normally works perfectly, is giving me this message here, an error message. Insufficient power, the USB port on your TV will not power this Roku device. Please use a USB power adapter. So I thought, and I've checked this several times, it's plugged into the wall and I thought that there was a problem. Here you can see it's plugged in properly. But uh, when I played with the cord, I'm having problems with the, the power, the signal. So what did I do? I replaced the cord and guess what? No problem at all. Got good power, everything's working properly. Turns out that the power cord was the problem, not the Roku device, not the outlet. So check your connections. Uh, a lot of times it might be a connection versus an actual uh, sensor or system or device. Uh, shake that little cord, see if you got a good connection, try changing cords, and you might find out that uh, that's the problem, a cheap fix. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. See you next time on Driving Intelligence. Hello Driving Intelligence community. I'm interviewing my nephew who is a Rubik's Cube expert and I want to know how did you get started on the Rubik's Cube? Okay, so um, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Pete. I've been in a few of his videos before. Um, so I got started by I just kind of I had one of these. I was kind of interested in it and then um, I just decided to look up a tutorial on it. I just typed in how to solve a Rubik's Cube, and then I got a tutorial, and then I started to try to solve it. And yeah, it took me, so I, the first day, what it, I didn't really have any progress. It took me two days to actually do it, and then I did it, and yeah, so I was really impressed with myself. 
and yeah, so I've just been practicing and practicing um, until I can do it really fast now. So what's the, what's the first step in solving a Rubik's Cube? Um, so let me just go ahead and solve this one and then I'll show you. So the first step in solving a Rubik's Cube is making a, a white cross or a cross with whatever color. White is the best option. So basically you have to match these white edges, these are edges, with the white center. And then also match these parts right here with the other center. Explain that again. So basically you see this blue piece right here, this, uh -huh. this blue and white edge. So first I'm gonna connect these, the white part of this edge with the white center. Okay. And then now this is against red. So mm -hmm. you don't want that. You want it to be here. Well, show me the... Yeah, oh, right, right there. Right there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and um, so now orange. So I'm gonna move this into the top layer because um, if I put it down here, then that wouldn't work because the white is, is here instead of being down here, connected so is this to here. what you call algorithms? Uh, no, no, this is not algorithms yet. Okay. So basically then I move this up. So now it's in the top layer here. And then, so I move it and move it some more. And then I connect. So right now I'm going to connect this, this orange part with this orange right now. And then now I'm gonna put the white part right here onto the white center. Mm -hmm. And then this green part, um, move it up to the top. Um, can connect it to, to the green here and then put it back down. And then this, this red, I can move it to the top. So if I move it here, that um, makes it so that this, this orange comes up. So you basically just have to move it out of the way and put the orange back down. So I'm sorry, you said before that anyone with two brain cells could do this? Yes, I yes. must only have one brain cell. <laughs> I couldn't follow what you were doing. Yeah, it. you just have to find a good tutorial. <laughs> I'm not the best person to teach you how to do this because I'm used to doing it like really fast. All right, so show me how to, is that thoroughly mixed up? I can, I can mix it up for you. And also scrambling it for, Here, here's just some fun facts about the Rubik's Cube. Every single scramble can be solved in 18 moves or less. Really? Yeah. Amazing. But, um, but normally you, you don't do that because those moves usually aren't the fastest and it's really hard to figure out those moves. And also, um, let me think, what's another, what's another fact? Um, who, who developed the Rubik's Cube? Who invented it? Um, it was um, a Hungarian professor called Erno Rubik, okay. and there's a bunch of other versions of the Rubik's Cube you probably know. There was a 4x4, four four, a 2x2, two two. this is a 3x3. Mm -hmm. three three. Well, is... You've got some weird ones behind you. Oh yeah, yeah, these are some, some weird ones. <laughs> um, this is a Megaminx. It's basically a 3x3, three three, but it's called a dodecahedron. You probably have never heard that word in your life. But, um... It's just basically like pentagons all made up into a 3D shape. And then this is called a square one. It looks like a 3x3, three three, but yeah, that's the it's one that confused weird. me on your channel. Yeah, yeah. I thought um, it was a 3x3, three three, and I was yeah. like, no, you can solve it faster than that. I solved this on my YouTube channel, and... What's the name of your YouTube channel while you're doing it? It's Epic Video Clips. I have around 25 subscribers, I think, so go subscribe. Let's get them up to 30. Yeah, yeah. Um, so now we... I, 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 so let me see how fast you can do that three okay. by three. Three, two, one, go. There we go. Wow. <laughs> well, Driving Intelligence Community, thanks for watching, seeing this Rubik's Cube prodigy here. See you next time on Driving Intelligence. Bye-bye.